De Cinta Batarossi and Angelo Preti have arrived from Italy, two of the thousands of European immigrants who, after the ending of slavery in Brazil, had their passage paid by the Brazilian government. They quickly found work in the plantations of Sao Paulo and in 1900 gave birth to a son, Primo, who became the first member of the family to be born in Brazil. Primo worked hard, he bought land and raised a family, and by the time he died in 1976, his land covered more than 900 hectares, and he employed more than 20 families, whose children attended the school built on the farm. His sons and daughters inherited the largest coffee producer in the region. As the years passed and picking coffee gave way to milking cows, the people left for the towns and their once proud houses gave way to the weeds and to the sun. The fourth son of Primo Preti, Agenor, and his wife Maria inherited the farm known as Sant'Antonio. But in the last few years, age and illness gradually slowed their work, and now, sadly, they've both passed away. Their children have grown and left home, the grandchildren have jobs in the towns, and there is no one to take over the farm. Life is moving from the rural past into the towns and cities of the present. An era that gave life and happiness to so many has ended, and a new one begins. <laughs>